Hi there, welcome back. I'm now back in Free Code Camp doing the basic algorithm scripting and I'm going to do the truncator string. Um, so it should be sounding a bit better now. So I've just had COVID last few days, so that's why. Um, but we're back on it now and hopefully we'll do daily videos going forward through all these Free Code Camp algorithms. Um, so this one, we just want to truncate a string, which is the first argument. Um, string, if it's longer than the given maximum string length, which is the second argument, return the truncated string with a dot, dot, dot ending. Um, so essentially, if the, the string that we're passing in here is longer than eight characters, we want to just pass only eight characters and then do dot, 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 which I think in this case is, yeah, eight tiskets, dot, 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 like so. Um, so how do we do that? We can actually do that in one line. Um, it's probably the simplest solution I can think of. Um, so obviously we want to just check if it if the string length is longer than the num the num that we're passing in. So if string dot length is greater than num, and then we're using a ternary operator here. So if you haven't sort of used those before, definitely check them out. Um, it's essentially like a, an else if, but you can actually chain them together, and they're just quite nice because it can be all on one line here. Um, so just to begin with, we will return string if that's true. Um, and we need the dot dot dot, right? And then also, if it's not, we just return a string. So that's sort of our, our backup case. But um, as you can see here, we can't just return string and then dot 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 at the end. We need to sort of find a way to um, concatenate them. Um, you can do this, sort of, I guess, two ways. So you can do, um, you know, sort of literally, I think it's just the, the plus sign here. Um, and then we would need to wrap these um, like so. Oh, so that they're actually a string. Uh, let's just do that. So dot, 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 right? Um, but the alternative for that um, would actually be to wrap this um, as a temporary literal string. So we can do this. And if we do the dollar sign and then curly braces, we can actually reference that, that string here um, and then do dot, dot, dot. And then that's the string with the dots. But we don't want to return the whole string. We just want to return, the, you know, uh, the number of characters in the num parameter that's been passed in, so eight. So we just want to do dot slice. And if we start from the zero index up to eight um, and hit enter, that should run through. And for some reason it's not. Let's just see. String dot slice. If string dot length is greater than num. String dot slice zero to eight. Oh, sorry, not to eight to num. Um, otherwise, return string. So there we go. Um, but as you can see, essentially what that's doing is it's slicing off just the first eight characters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it's putting the dot dot dot. So truncating that string effectively. Um, but yeah, that's one way to do it. If I pull that over, you'll see it is all one one line, um, which is quite nice. And yeah, simple sort of solution to this problem here. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.